writing Alexa or Google Home skills is not easy. Their voices are impersonal and we never know what they gossip elsewhere. Also, the devices are not funny looking. We will change that and build a different Alexa. And we will use this device to help us through the day in a completely different way than the cloud services from Amazon or Google can do. A perfect addition to every home automation project. Gritzy YouTubers, here is the guy with the Swiss accent, with a new episode and fresh ideas around sensors and microcontrollers. Sound is essential for humans, especially for alarming. We absolutely need it in a decent home automation system. When I saw this sound module, I knew I wanted to build something cool with it. I already had this voice module, but it is useless for my purpose because it can only hold one message. This one here can store 2 MB of MP3 files, which is about 50 3 second messages. And you can choose the message to be played with a serial signal. Let's check how this works. The chip has RX and TX pins, and I found this datasheet. It would be a lot of work to translate it to a language I understand. Later I learned that somebody else already translated it. But even better, I found a library for the chip. Also good, the chip works on 5 volts but receives and transmits 3.3 volt signals. So we are ready to rumble. I want to use an ESP8266 for my device. Why? Because it can connect to Wi-Fi and I can create at least two serial connections. But I had to add a few yield commands to prevent the ESP8266 from crashing. As we saw before, the IQ6500 communicates with the MCU via serial and we want to have the ordinary serial for debugging. Fortunately, a special version of Software Serial also works for the ESP8266. Now we have everything to build the hardware. A WeMOS D1 Mini, a JQ6500 module, and, because I want that it will be heard, a PAM8403 audio amplifier and a decent loudspeaker. I use this PAM8403 module because the others were not good in my tests. The PAM8403 also works on 5V. So the whole diagram looks like that. All three modules are connected to 5V. RX and TX from Software Serial are connected to the JQ6500 module and its digital to analog output for the right channel is connected to the input of the PAM8403. The speaker is connected to its output. I put all on a prototype PCB and wire it up. I use sockets for the modules. Like that, I can replace one module if I screw it up. For the first test, I use the Hello World example file of the library. But wait, our module came from China. And for sure, it does not speak Swiss German. So I have to create and store my own messages in the flash memory of the module. Because I use Audacity for my videos, I also use it to create the files. I speak each message, one after the other, with the space in between. Eins, zwei, drei. Then I normalize the volume to a reasonable level using normalize and also automatically create files for each message using sound finder, save other and export multiple. Now I have the needed files for the upload on my disk. But how do they come into the flash memory of the board? The module has a micro USB connector and the supplier provides a program to transfer MP3 files from the disk to the flash memory. Start the one which corresponds with the size of your flash. My board has 16 megabit. Unfortunately, I do not understand this language. But fortunately, the user interface is not too complicated. The second tab is used to select the files. And on the first tab, we have to press Upload. The sequence of the files here will be the numbering of the messages. 
This one will be played when we request message number 1. And this one when we request number 4. The file name does not matter. But if you do it like me, you can select all the files together. For the tests, I upload numbers from 1 to 23 in Swiss German. And it works. Eins, zwei, drei, the module vier, counts from 1 to fünf. 23. Next comes the sketch. As with all my devices, I want that it uses MQTT. So we take the PubSub MQTT library as a basis. As usual, we first have to fill in credentials. Here I use a small trick. I placed my credentials, keys and addresses of internet services in one file called credentials.h. This file is stored in the libraries folder and there in the folder credentials. Like that I can only write my SSD and my password in the sketch. And it works. I strongly suggest you do the same. Then you do not need to type your credentials anymore and you can use my sketches without any changes. Next we have to define MQTT topics for the commands and the response. I call them speech in and speech out. If a payload with the topic speech in contains a number, the respective message will be played. If finished, a message with the same number is published with the topic speech out as feedback. Because the ESP8266 connects to my home automation MQTT broker, I can quickly send messages using Node-RED. If you are not familiar with Node-RED, you can watch video number 128. I send a 1 to the broker with the topic speech in. And really, I hear 1 in Swiss German. Now I send 22 to test if numbers above 10 also work. Yes, they work. Everybody talks about mindfulness, self-improvement and motivation. This is why I want to use my device precisely for that purpose. How is this done? By selecting the right messages and by defining the rules when they are fired. Now it gets personal. I'm sure you will use completely different messages. Because usually I'm sitting alone in my cellar doing projects or videos, I decided to include mainly motivational messages. Here are my first proposals. I'm sure you have much better ideas and maybe you even share it with us in the comments. As a start, I will upload the following messages. Hallo Andreas, schön dich zu sehen. What was that? Aha, I forgot the subtitles. Not everybody understands Swiss German. So, again. Hallo Andreas, schön dich zu sehen. This message will be triggered by my PIR sensor when I enter my lab in the morning. It is a simulation of my boss which does not exist. The second one will be the Brieftrager is cho. This message will be triggered by my mailbox sensor. It is the most important message and, as you can imagine, it will get number one. Mittagspause. This message will be triggered by a timer and will remind me to get some food if I'm completely immersed in my project. Danke schön vielmal für deine Videos, wo du jede Woche machst. This message is triggered by sending an email to this address, guy.swissaccent at gmail.com. This is a more personal thumbs up. I'm curious when the first message arrives. The next one is from my wife. Andy, ich habe gerade an dich gedacht. It is also triggered by email, but this address is only known by my wife. Es ist schönes Wetter, willst du nicht Velo fahren? This message is triggered by open weather map when the sun comes out and the temperature is above 10 degrees centigrade. It helps me to stay healthy. You see how it works. In the future, other useful messages can be added, like Andy, die Waschmaschine ist fertig. Kannst du sie bitte ausräumen? Danke. Or we could connect it to the Geiger counter from my video number 162. You see, 
The human alarm system is mainly triggered by sound. You can use this for your message design. And of course, we could add NeoPixels to the ESP, a nearly mandatory feature these days. Then we would extend the MQTT message with a second number for the pattern of the pixels. Or we would use JSON messages. You see, the possibilities are unlimited. As the last step, I have to create a housing for the device. And it still has no name. This is a very delicate problem. Finding a name for the device. I learned my lessons from some commenters about political correctness. And therefore, I will call it Smiley. I hope this is okay. Oof, this problem solved. Now we can go on creating the case. I could use the variable boxes of my video from last Sunday. Adjust the dimensions and print one. But I want a motivational housing. Here it is in two versions to choose. A normal and a female Smiley. Maybe you tell me in the comments which one you like better. And of course, you can tell me if Alexa or Smiley looks better. You see, we improve the quality of life on this channel. At least for the creator. I want to thank all my supporters on Patreon and viewers using my links for their purchases for supporting the channel. Without you, it would be difficult for me to do what I do now. Bye.